Hey founders, hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to talk about whether or not you should use a pitch deck template. Now, when you're designing a pitch deck, you've got three different choices. You can do it yourself. You can take a shot at part of it and then outsource the rest. Maybe you're really good at the outline and telling the story and coming up with the text that should be on there. But if you're like me, you, maybe you're not great with graphics and you can outsource that to someone else with some guidance. guidance. Or your third option is you just completely outsource the whole thing to someone like my design firm. So with those types of things, the question becomes, if you're going to do any part of it yourself, should you use a pitch deck template? template? So what I want to run you through is what I see as some of the pros and cons of doing that. Now, don't get me wrong. There is an absolute art to designing a pitch deck. You are essentially an artist when you are designing not only the text, but also the graphics that go into a pitch deck. It's a very important thing. You're giving this to someone to tell the story of your startup. You want it to be aesthetically pleasing, but more importantly, you want it to tell your story. The thing I found to be the absolute hardest part of that whole process is the aesthetic part. I'm not very good with graphics. I'm not a graphic designer. So actually, I use a graphic designer when I work with clients to wrap up and beautify the pitch deck. I do all the design of the outline. I plan the text that is going to be on the pitch deck. I do all the projections. I do all those kinds of things. But then I hand that all off to a graphic designer who works with me. Uh, it's, he's in Brazil, actually, and he's worked with me on probably 10 of these by now. And I hand those off and then he does all the graphical design of what we're trying to put into that pitch deck. So that's one of the places where you can benefit when you're working with someone, or I'm sorry, when you have a pitch deck template is if the person is graphically inclined, then hopefully they've produced an aesthetically pleasing pitch deck that you can then jump in and then customize, make it read to your own specifications but it's got a nice look to it. Another benefit of working with a template is if the person that designed it knows what they're doing, they've already structured out the various slides that you should think about having. Those things should be things like a title slide, a problem slide, a solution slide, the market, your team, projections, all those things. When you're using a pitch deck template that someone's designed, again, if they know what they're doing, they've already structured out that for you. Now, it doesn't mean you have to follow that, and I'll touch on that more here in just a second. Now, you need to understand that there are some cons or some negatives to using a pitch deck template. One of those that you need to consider is, is it a template that you can use that takes minimal customization? What I mean by that, if you end up having to make all kinds of changes to the pitch deck template, then you might as well just start it fresh yourself. But if you can just come in, change some images or change some icons, rearrange things easily just a little bit to suit your own tastes, then a template's going to work for you. But if a template is not easily customizable, and let's say you would need to be someone who is graphically inclined, then it's not going to benefit you a whole lot. Now, another content pitch deck template is they can be costly. There are some services out there, and on Thursday's video, I'm going to share with you some of the best pitch deck uh, places to go for pitch deck templates. But some of them can be very costly. And so that is certainly a negative to working with it. Of course, with a pitch deck template, you get what you pay for. So if you're starting with a free template, it's probably not going to be as quality as one that you pay for that someone who is graphically inclined and understands how to properly design a pitch deck is going to do for you. But that could be a con to some people. If you just can't, don't have discretionary income to afford a pitch deck template, they can have some costs to them. The biggest thing I want you to take away is that there's not necessarily an overarching bad theme of using a pitch deck template. In my mind, it can actually save you a lot of time, money, and energy if you're getting one from someone who really knows what they're doing. If you're not, if you're buying a pitch deck template that is not properly structured, does not have the right pieces on it, you're going to spend a lot of time trying to customize it to your own specifications you're going to spend a lot of time restructuring things and messing with it. If that's the case, then it's really not worth it. But in general, I do recommend working with a pitch deck template. It can save you a lot of time and let you focus more of your time and energy on going out and finding investors that you could put that pitch deck in front of instead of time messing around with the pitch deck itself. And anyways, until next time, I hope that helps. Hope you find your voice. Have a great day.